Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It has been a while. A lot has happened. Your girl is now a married woman. Mrs. Mrs. Yeah, so it has been a very interesting couple of weeks. Well, the last week has been very interesting because it was winding down to my big day. So I wanted to do this video just to show you guys, it's gonna be a very short video, but just showing you guys a little bit of my wedding weekend. Um, having family and friends in and also um, sharing a little highlights, my favorite moments of that day. I know I, I said I wasn't going to do it, but I know a few of you were asking about um, me sharing a little bit about uh, a little bit about um, of the wedding. So I wanted to make this short film just sharing a little bit, not too much of it because I want to keep some of that to myself. Um, but I wanted to share a few highlights of, you know, that dinner the night before, leading in, spending time with um, family and friends, and also a little bit of clips um, from the wedding. Um, now, so I, I haven't gotten back all of the original um, footage from the photographer and stuff from the wedding. So I really have clips from family and friends that they have sent me, but I wanted to get something out there to give you guys um, of what I have gathered from, you know, from others so far. But it was just, uh, first, let's talk about, let's talk about this hair, yeah, girls. Yes, so I know you guys saw me a few weeks ago and I had chopped my hair off pretty much and I had short hair. Put your girl dark in some lead. <laughs> girl, I'm loving. So what I got, I got eye tips. Some like micro links. I got eye tips to my hair. This is what I really wanted. I wanted natural hair for that day. I did not want to um, press my hair. Didn't want any heat to my hair because I was already trying to mend those um, damaged ends that I had previously. So your girl got eye tips done and they are amazing i will share the hair um details down below in the description box um of where i got the hair from which is amazing because what they do is you send a clip of your um your natural texture hair and they match you up to the hair that they have and this is perfect i am like a four i'm sorry three i think it was a three a four c or something like that three a to four four or three b to four c or something like that i think my hair was i will put it in the description box though i just have to check the info just to confirm um yes yeah, so i'll put everything down below of what my texture is for my hair and it blended amazingly and the thing is you can also wash it like you're normal washing just be careful when you're detangling not to pull just hold the hair and just detangle but it is amazing you can use your CM natural products you use on your own hair your natural hair onto the hair like you're treating it like your own hair and it's amazing very minimal shedding but anyway guys we're not here to talk about my hair but I just wanted to share it a little bit with you guys let's get right on in to these clips so the first thing I want to share is um, the dinner the night before we went yeah, so I'm just I um, obviously a few clips of dinner with my family and friends that were able to make it your heart keep it in Pocket for safe keeping. Don't ever let nobody be the reason. Some folks weren't able to make it, um, which is unfortunate, but it was still, you know, we spent one on and it was a beautiful day despite of um, the challenges we have with the weather and all that kind of stuff. It was still a beautiful day. You know, I was prayed about it and I said, Lord, let the day lead and be the way that you need it to be. Just shine your blessings upon that day for us. And I 
I felt like I was quite calm with even though it was like storming the day before the, the wedding day um, it was still an amazing time and I did not allow it to like you know have me stressed out or anything about it so it, it it was a beautiful time spending with my family and friends for that dinner and just laughing and everybody just gelling and some folks who were just meeting each other it was like they knew each other a long time ago it was just so fun and I was all smiles as you would see in the pictures I was just so happy all right so what I want to share also the second thing is you know the day of the wedding um, it was so sunny compared to the previous day where it was raining so much and you know I'm happy because we had to make a choice whether we were going to keep the wedding in the garden area which was no shade actually and um, because we were expecting it to be a nice sunny day and everything and but it was raining so much and we had to make a decision to go into the shaded um, area that was sheltered a little bit just in case if it did rain uh, which I was a little you know I didn't want to do because I really love the garden side but I'm happy that we made the choice to go under um, the shelter part because um, it was so hot that day when I tell you it was hot I think it was like 98 or something that day and so I'm happy that we did transition to the sheltered part because um, it would have been an open space and no, it wouldn't have been any shelter for anyone to go under. I had bought like little fans and stuff, but that still would not have been enough. Um, so yeah, we, I'm happy we made the decision to go under the shelter part because it did actually help a little bit when folks not having to just like die out of heat out there, okay? Okay, so as the day went on, um, uh, you, it was a little bit, I think the only thing, um, I'm just trying to go through everything that, you know, that happened. So it was, everything was flowing, going really well. And then, guys, I don't know what happened. But you know what? I said God worked things out in the way it needs to work out and how it's supposed to be because he knew it was hot as hell. I was supposed to wear this hair out and I didn't because I was like, you know what? It's too hot. And I'm happy I decided to pull it back, my hair, and pull my hair back. Also, I was supposed to wear a veil. Something that came and just was supposed to just hang down to the back. A nice, beautiful lace veil. Um, and I also had gotten a brooch to, so if I decided to, I had, I had backup like, if I decide to wear out, I'll wear the veil. If I decide to wear the brooch, I'll put the brooch, whatever. You know, when that day when I pull it back to decide how I was going to, which way, which, uh, what I was going to do, the veil or the brooch. And guys, the veil just went MIA. It just went missing. I could not find it. You know, my girlfriend was trying, went back to the house trying to find if it was there. I digging up all through my stuff trying to find this veil. And it was nowhere to be found. The brooch I had ordered that's supposed to be in here, it said it was here, never showed up. To this day, we still cannot find the veil and the brooch never showed up. So, So as you saw in the previous clip, my sister came in and she was like, she just got it on. Like, I just, I was like, oh my God, what I'm going to put in my hair, I'm going to look so clean. Even though my face was beautiful for my makeup, thank to Candy Coated. She just, she did everything that I wanted for um, how I wanted my makeup to do, which was very natural, very simple. I didn't want anything too crazy. And she did everything that I wanted. And I'm so happy about that. Um... Also, so my sister came in, we had some extra flowers from, you know, from the, um, the florist that was out there that wasn't being used. And she brought it into the room and she's like, you guys can do it, you know, it was, it was supposed to sprout. And no, my friend wanted to do something with it. And, you know, we didn't end up needing the flowers after a while. But my sister came, she's like, why don't you put the roses in your hair since like, you can't find your veil? And I'm like, oh, why didn't we think of this? So... As you see um, in the clip, she's actually putting the roses in my hair and it came out 
beautifully. Yeah, so um, I, I, you see this a few clips I put in there of her putting it in my hair, and I just felt so beautiful. I felt so natural. I just felt, just I just felt amazing at that moment, and I was very happy with the roses. I was so happy she was there. She came up with the idea because I was like, "What am I gonna do?" And I wasn't thinking about those flowers sitting on the shelf at that time, and so it was. It it just worked out so well. Yeah, so the photographer came we also then the photographer came and he was taking so many photos and i also we decided that we were going to do a first look and i was i was just i don't know i was so excited I, I was excited for him to see me because i i felt beautiful i felt really beautiful and i wanted him to you know i've just that at that ease everything for that for the, before we started everything, the ceremony for that day, I wanted us to have that moment with each other. I'm not going to share too much or a like video clip or anything like that. I'm just going to share just a, a quick photo of us seeing each other for the first time. So it, you know, it was, it was, the first look was amazing. He looked so handsome. He, you know, our smile of seeing each other, it was just, the way we looked at each other at that moment of, you know, this is it, this is us and our day and this is what we're going to do. And it was just, it was just a very... It's hard to find the words to say, but it was just a moment. And I would I would recommend for persons who are getting married, that moment of you first seeing each other, it actually really just, it's just a, a little bit of a relief. Even though I wasn't like nervous or anything, it just was a good feeling before going into everything around everybody. It was just, it was a very calming feeling. And I really, I was really happy that we decided to do that because i was going to cut it out a little bit because i was trying to make sure we fall we got was on time with everything else and yeah i'm happy that we did that it was just it was a moment yes yeah so moving on guys um yeah, so all my friends and stuff you know my sister stuff they were coming in they were they coming everyone's coming in to see me and i was you know i was happy I was happy to see my friends there and stuff and everybody oh my girl came in and she said the moment she came she started to cry and i'm like oh my don't you do that don't you start crying because then you're gonna make me cry i'm like and i knew she was gonna do that that's why i didn't want her to come in that that, that um that day i was like i wanted to stay on there because i didn't want her to make me cry but you know it was just it, it was just good having you know, it was just a relief to have you know those those friends and 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 family come in and just see you a little bit before everything began. I, I actually like that. Even though it's like, oh, you wait for them to see you for the first time out there. I, I I like the fact that the close the close people were there to keep, to come in and just you know. That was a moment too. That was a moment. Then we got to the point where, um, for those of you who may not know, um, my dad passed away a few years ago, so I didn't have my, my dad to walk me up the aisle. Um, but my very, very, very good friend, um, who is also like a father to me and, and always been there for me and give me good advice and just helping me along the way with everything and i am so so grateful to him um he is like a father to me at this point my my very good friend but also like a father to me because he's always been that comfort for me um and fill that void of you know my father not being here any longer um, so I was so happy that he, you know, he came all this way just to walk me up the aisle. I will never forget. I will never forget that. And that meant so much to me. And for him seeing me for the first time, 
I oh this made me want to like shed a tear now because it was just so emotional him coming in and seeing me for the first time and it's like a father seeing his daughter and giving his daughter away you know it, that's how it felt and it, it made me miss my dad a little bit at the same time I'm sure no I don't want to cry yeah so okay so Getting to the ceremony part, um, walking up the aisle, um, I walked up to the song Forever, um, but I would like to give a look, I can't remember his name right now, but I love that song. You know the song, forever is a long time, that's how long I love you. Yes, that's the song, I love that song. I was torn between um, another song and that one, but that one just touched me and it was everything it, it fit perfectly within the ceremony um yeah and then leading on you know going there and just everyone was seeing everyone sitting there it was like i said it was a very small wedding but just having those close people there meant a lot and you know walking up and uh, you know seeing uh, yeah, him just, and my dad. yeah another moment god so another thing that was so amazing for me, um, my daughter sang. Yes, I'm not gonna share that because I know how she she yeah she's not gonna yeah, but um, she sang at my wedding, and it was beautiful, and nobody expected it, and my husband did not expect it because it was actually a song that I wanted her to sing for him. So he was, everybody was shocked to know that she was going to sing. Um, and it was beautiful. It was a moment. And I think everybody started to cry um, at that time because the song was just beautiful. And, you know, it, it that was a moment. Yeah. I'll, I'll, uh, you know, she sang the song. Um, yeah, she sang the song To Make You Feel My Love by a a moment guys uh, the words itself is just it meant everything and yeah so and her voice was so beautiful for that song it, it, it yeah a moment another one yeah so you know the ceremony went perfectly everything was just flowing it was going and it was just a it was just beautiful it it, it, it was it was a short ceremony and it just everything just flowed pretty much everything just flowed that day it's like there was no interruptions no nothing stopping not it just was just flowing beautifully and at the end of the ceremony we played um happy of walking out happy by um was it for is it by pharrell yes awesome. happy happy yeah, if you please mm -hmm. i don't where's so the good but i love that so it was it was a happy moment Yeah, so afterwards we we took so many photos um from the photographer so many photos so i don't have any of those ones like that i think i have a few clips of what the um the lady from the venue took a little clips here and there that i can probably post in there but they weren't so clear so i didn't really want to post them but i'll post a little bit for you guys to see a little bit of what we did um nothing too much she a lot she was just shooting off from afar a little bit of when we were taking the photos um, and then so we went in and we had to do, you know, the walk first, you know, the first couples walk in. Um, yeah, and our first, we did our first dance right after that. And we danced to the song, My Love, Sweet Love by Patti LaBelle. I love that song, guys. Like, I love that song. Her voice is just, we can't dance. We know dances, right? And we didn't have a chance to practice in the dancing, but if we just we just grew, we just, we just grew, and we just hugged and grew. That's what we did. We just grew. Yeah, guys. So that's really mostly all that I have right now. Some of the clips that I have right now to share with you guys. But I wanted to just. Put something out there for you guys um, that may have been, you know, waiting to see a little bit or for in front of go, where is this girl going? She just come and she's missing. Like, yeah, I was, 
I was trying to listen up until that wedding I was just going and going and going and I was getting up early every morning I had to be running around doing so many things and after the wedding and everything I settled down I felt like my body just crashed seriously like I felt oh, I felt so tired for the past few days I was just tired and sleepy I just like I couldn't do anything and I had to take that moment to just regroup catch myself take a breather and my daughter's still here as so I'm, I'm trying to spend that time with her before she leaves so I was just in the moment of just spending time and everyone before they left really that's really what it was so that is mostly it I you know I share little clips here and there as much as I can to the videos you guys would see and just give you guys a little bit of those moments that I would that that I sh that I had experienced, which was amazing for me. And yes, I am I am so grateful. I am happy. I am happy. I am very happy. And I I feel like I have found my person. We get each other, and that's the thing. We get each other, and. I am just, yes, I am. I'm happy, you guys. Yes, I am happy. So that's really it, guys. Um, I wanted to share that with you guys, and I will be having a new video out for you guys this week as well. Back, getting back into the routine. So look forward to another video coming soon, and thank you for watching. Yeah. 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 Yeah